Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. So today we're gonna to talk about propagation. So I have about three techniques I use. It all depends on your cutting. Uh, more rare or expensive cuttings I get, I will use sphagnum moss and a rooting hormone. You can see here, I got it's a couple weeks of being in here. I got some nice root development already. And I also will use water as most people do same plant different style of roots so when you're doing them in water the, the roots developed in water are very acclimated to water so the transition to soil may not take every time just because the roots are developed for water and then like constant moisture today we're going to be propagating in soil i got two fiddle leaf fig leaves here what we're going to do so with these you will need some nice potty mix I doused these in water earlier, and I use uh, a little bit of Super Thrive here, which helps uh, develop a little bit better. That's a uh, vitamin mixture derived from kelp. So I just make sure I sprayed soil, get it nice and moist. Now doing soil propagation, with these in particular, I will need a rooting hormone because these plants, they don't have the actual hormone in just the leaves. So I'll need to tell the leaves, instead of to just develop more leaf plant cells, I'll have to tell it to develop roots. So here I got Promix rooting hormone. I'm just gonna dip in here. Shake off all the excess. Slightly push it right into the soil. I use a little stick just to hold it up. They're rather large. There we go. So the rooting hormone that we need is actually called auxin. And this is perfect for it. There we go. to the center of the soil. Remember, I didn't pack the soil down at all. It's just all water in there. Use my spike. Hold it down. There we go. We got two fiddly figs. So these are gonna sit on my propagation station. I have light from a south facing window and an east facing window. We get relatively good light. I'm gonna monitor the soil moisture because it's gotta stay moist the whole time for roots to develop. And we'll let them sit in there for a few weeks and then I'll check on them. Uh, stay posted if you want. And if you have any questions regarding propagation, um, let me know in comments or direct message me or something. Thanks for watching.